In this episode, we're going to take a look at all the juicy details about the three-year anniversary event that just went live in Decrops. If you're a Decrops player or even thinking about it, please stay tuned. Hey all you Decrops farmers, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here, bringing you a news scoop. The information about the three year anniversary event that just went live today in Decrops. Uh, Script Kitty dropped an informational link in Discord to a article he wrote and posted over in Peak D. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, look at all the details. And uh, you know, I've been playing this for a while uh, since the Olive Tree event. That's what basically got me in. Um, it's, uh, like it says, three year anniversary now. Shout out to Script Kitty. Uh, all props uh, to keeping a game going for three years, let alone in the Web3 space. Um, it's got to be doing something right. Uh, over the time I've been playing, I have been gradually building. I didn't go up in um, all the games I play. I don't really go in in full force and throw a bunch of money in. I start off with a moderate amount and just kind of go along. Um, what I've been doing in game is with each season that passes i've been buying a parcel or two of land and some seeds and just building up as i go and uh, i've also accumulated some trees i haven't got into recipes and building those other things out but i'm just trying to build over time uh have i made a lot of money in the game no um but you know it's a, it's a farming game and it's it's pretty fun you know uh it doesn't take a whole lot of time per day and i can see where as it builds over time you can make something off this game are you going to get rich? No. But let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the three-year anniversary details. Uh, if you've been paying attention uh, the last two weeks leading up um, to this event, there have been daily claims, which if you remember to do the daily claims, uh, I didn't remember about half of them, um, but you do get a bonus in the anniversary event. Um, for each of those days, you did remember to do your claim. But let's go ahead and look at the details. Uh, three, year, uh, three years of decrops, let's celebrate. Uh, we are excited to celebrate three incredible years of growth, community, and farming fun. We're extremely grateful to our community whose enthusiasm and support has helped shape the game. Let's stop there and let me take a minute. Um, I'm a member of uh, a bunch of different communities, um, you know, most uh, most of it is most of my action and most of my videos on my channel are about Splinterlands, but a lot of these other games, several of the of the other games, the community largely seems to be um, I don't want to say salty, but very kind of. Um, it's just hit or miss, and, and there's a lot of situations in Discord and everything where I don't even want to get into conversations with a, a lot of these people because it's just you'll get burnt to the ground and everything just for expressing an opinion. Either way, uh, my point here is that the community in Decrops has largely been very pleasant to deal with. You know, ask questions, uh, people will throw out an answer, give you their opinion. So I just wanted to stop there and say that. And Script Kitty, uh, especially for uh, a busy person, um, answers my questions in, in a relatively quick basis. Uh, you know, for a person that's in charge of a game and probably got a lot of other stuff going on in life, but I did appreciate that as well. So um, also see you in Lum out there, who is the one that largely got me into the game and helped me along as far as answering a lot of questions and everything. So shout out. Um, We'd like to thank each and every one of you who have joined us on this remarkable journey. Let's kick off celebration with a special event and make this anniversary truly memorable. So the first thing they know is 10% discount on beta uh, edition packs. And then they give the link to go in and buy packs. So 10% off packs, always nice. Beta packs, you get three cards and you could get anything from a land to a seed to uh, a lot of times recipes and things like this. Um, so it's always good. Um, you know that if you've watched my videos, I always approach it buying singles. I find it uh, is better for me as far as getting exactly what I want. Do you pay a little bit more? Yeah. Um, but and does everybody like opening packs? Sure, once in a while, like I opened that one pack uh, and I got an apple tree seed, which uh, CU and Lum helped me convert into a tree, uh, which I used during the last season. And it was really nice. I got a decent amount out of my apples. So let's go ahead and continue. Now, what's available? What are the big prizes here? So the first big prize is uh, a bunny totem. 
If you've been following our development so far, you would know that during each event, we have some limited edition NFTs for you to win. This time they have two. The first one is the bunny totem. And what it does is, and I'm especially interested in this, it gives a 3% chance for two star and an extra 0.3% chance for three star when harvesting off of trees. And as you know, I'm pretty interested in trees. Um, they won't help you really that much with quests as far as I know, but uh, I like them the fact that once you get them planted, you can collect off of them every 24 hours during the season. You don't have to worry about replanting, the, the crop going bad, what have you. They're just there. So that's the idea I like about trees, although they are on the pricier side. Okay, now uh, it goes on to say an Easter-themed totem, which gives you a special bonus, plus 3 and plus 0.3 on 2 and 3 star uh, quality fruits. The bonus is not stackable and you only need to hold this NFT in your account for it to work. So you don't have to do anything special. You just have to own it in your account. There will be a total of 150 of these in existence, which makes them incredibly rare. 120 of them will be available in the shop and 30 of them can be won in the daily raffle. Every day there will be one bunny totem in the raffle uh, prize pool. You will need 18 golden tickets to buy one of these from the event shop. So we'll go ahead and go over the details of the raffle and what that takes. But you can also, if you save up, if you get golden tickets and you save them up, you can buy one of these for 18 golden tickets, which is going to be pretty pricey um, and uh, pretty rare to come by. So uh, the second one is a recipe called the Unicorn Parfait. Interesting artwork here. Um, this will uh, beat the heat with some fresh fruits. This legendary recipe uses mangoes, blueberries, orange slices, watermelon, and carrots. This is the first ever recipe that you can cook, um, quote unquote, uh, just by using your fridge NFT. So if you've built a fridge and you've got a fridge, you can make this new unicorn parfait. You will need four copies of the recipe to unlock it uh, to max level, level 10. These can be bought from the event shop for 13 golden tickets and only 500 of these will be available. 400 in the shop and 100 from the raffle. This means only 125 players will be able to fully level them up in the, to the max level. level. <laughs> Disclaimer, no unicorns were harmed in the making of this recipe. So as I have not really gotten into recipes much, I can't comment on the difficulty of making this. I do know that any piece of equipment that you buy or make is fairly expensive to do so, and you would need a fridge to go ahead and make this recipe. But that will be the second NFT that's available. Um, okay, so here are uh, the basic facts about what you can earn um, during the event. Um, so how to get Easter eggs and golden tickets. For the duration of the anniversary event, you can earn Easter eggs by simply playing the game. The following game actions will give you a random amount of Easter eggs. So when you plant, you can get between one and three Easter eggs. When you harvest, between one and seven. When you sell, you can get a 20 to 60% time share value of Easter eggs. So depending upon uh, the quality of what you sell and how many you sell, you would get more Easter eggs. Uh, claim craft item, 15 to 150 Easter eggs. Claim food item, 15 to 150 Easter eggs. So if you're making, uh, if you're crafting something or if you're creating a recipe, making a food item, then you would go get more Easter eggs um, ran, um, in that range. If you complete a quest, 40 to 75 Easter eggs. Uh, if you buy packs between 40 and 225 Easter eggs per pack. So it's a random amount per pack that you buy. Um, workshop claim uh, between 50 and 150 Easter eggs and constructing equipment between 100 and 500 Easter eggs. So basically you're making Easter eggs off of most of the things you do in the game just by being active, okay? Um, he goes on to note that uh, during previous events, there used to be a 25% chance which, uh, where you would not get any Easter eggs. We have now removed this, and each time you plant or harvest, you will earn some amount of Easter eggs. So there's no random chance of not getting anything. Um, so where to use Easter eggs? Use them to buy salt, pepper, mystery seeds, etc. in the event shop. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, buy golden eggs and crack them open for a chance to get golden tickets. So the golden eggs are like what the presents were in the Christmas event. Or you can send golden eggs to other players to earn points towards a raffle. So uh, we'll look at it here in a minute, the list. But um, 
it, it, this is not exactly straightforward and it's complicated uh, for a new user to get into, but I think I've got the, the facts down. I had to read through it several times and ask a few questions in Discord. So it's not exactly user friendly to figure out how to do this, but once you get up and running, um, then it's pretty straightforward. Now, you have the possibility of bonus eggs. Uh, in, a, in our previous post, we announced our pre-anniversary event, which is what I talked about this two weeks leading up to this, where you would do your claims, which I've talked about in a few other videos, where you would check in daily to get some juicy items. For every day that you checked in, you will now also get 0.3% extra Easter eggs. If you checked in every day, you would be getting an extra 4.2% Easter egg. So extra percentage is always nice. I would obviously, in hindsight, I wish I would have remembered to check in every day. I think I checked in about at least a third of the days. Uh, you can also get 5% extra eggs if you are in the good egg program. So what is the good egg program and what are the daily raffles? Uh, so basically put, the storyline is the Easter Bunny, even though Easter's already over, needs your help, uh, send 4,000 crops, which uh, I did the math before this, and I think it's about $12, $13, dollars $14 at this point, to the Easter Bunny. Please use the website to do so, and you'll be added to the Good Egg program. So you need to buy your cro crop token, 4,000 crop token, and have it on Hive Engine to be able to do this. Okay, So you don't want it in-game, you want it on Hive Engine. As a member of this program, which lasts the, the whole month, uh, 30 days from today, um, on the 14th of April is when I'm doing this. So 30 days from now, uh, every day, uh, you will receive three golden eggs each day. Uh, you will also receive golden eggs from other players. Um, in order to participate in the daily raffle, players must send golden eggs to other players in the exchange menu for golden eggs. You will see the following prompt, which looks like this. Uh, when you choose the gift to someone else option, the golden eggs are sent to random players from the Good Egg program. For each golden egg you send, you will receive one raffle ticket for that day's raffle. And the raffle prizes, prizes that is, for each day, um, there will be 30 bunny tokens, one for each day given away, 50 alpha packs, 100 unicorn parfait, and 150 beta packs. And I think that's across the month. Uh, there will also be always be one bunny token in the raffle prize every day. The rest of the prizes are determined randomly. So I think this is the list for the entire month. But it's a nice set of prizes. Um, and like I said, I think to get on that program, it's about $12, $13 worth of crop token. Um, let's go ahead and go over to the page on the crops. Uh, also, the season just uh, flop, flipped over to spring. Um, I had uh, got, I had cleared my account, so I'd see how many how many crop I got for last season. I got 503, and uh, after we uh, get done talking about this three-year anniversary, I also need to go in and plant for the season. So if if you haven't checked out this game and you want to check it out, uh, I'll show you some basic stuff. Uh, so on the three-year anniversary, you can see. Uh, how many I missed. I ended up claiming one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I ended up claiming half of them. Uh, so I will get my bonus for that. Now, uh, this is that first part where it says hire the Easter Bunny. I decided to go ahead and do it um, because I would like that uh, totem uh, basically that increases my, uh, makes it a higher percent chance of getting better fruit on my trees, which I'm pretty well invested in at this point. So we are verifying with the exchange. I had put the crop token on my Hive engine before I started this video. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. Okay, success. I have been added to the Good Egg program. And it reloads and I can claim my daily gift, which should be three golden eggs. And I do want to get in on the raffle, so I will send at least one of those to uh, random. Um, okay, so it reloads. And we can see each section uh, says you have three unopened gifts. These gifts were sent by Easter Bunny, Easter Bunny, and Easter Bunny. Um, so... Uh, here are the details on the raffle, which we just went over. And here are the details of if you actually open a golden egg, uh, you have a 30% chance for one to 50 crop tokens. You have a 20% chance for one golden ticket. You have a 30% chance for one speed grow, 30 plus or mystery seed. And you have a 20% chance for one salt or pepper. And you can see these various actions which, which net you Easter eggs, uh, which we talked about. 
Now the event shop is down below and you can see down here towards the bottom these are the items Mr. Seed, Speed Grow, Ferdy Plus, Salt and Pepper which you can buy for Easter eggs. Now the other ones uh, require golden tickets or golden Easter eggs. You can exchange one golden egg for 250 Easter eggs and then buy more of these items down here if you want. Um, you can also buy alpha or beta packs uh, for the golden tickets and as we discussed you can buy the uh, legendary items bunny totem and unicorn parfait for 13 golden tickets however how do you get those golden tickets obviously everybody wants these or possibly some alpha or beta packs um, if you are uh, kind of if you're going to build something you may be looking for some wood some iron ore gold ore or rewards chests, which can give up a bunch of different types of items um, but to get the golden tickets what you need to do is guess what open more golden Easter eggs and hope for that golden that 20% golden ticket okay it appears to go ahead and send Easter or send golden eggs to other persons you have to go into buying golden egg um, and then you have the option to gift to someone else uh, one golden egg is uh, 250 Easter eggs um, like I said, this isn't exactly clear. There could be a button up here to donate or whatever. Um, I'm showing zero even though I have three. So I'm going to go ahead and open these because it, it doesn't look like I can do anything else with those. Um, see what happens. Maybe I'll just open them and get them into my inventory and then be able to use them. Um, okay, success. You have opened three golden eggs and found the following items. One uh, or nine crop tokens one golden ticket and two salt. So that did not work. Uh, what it did, well, it worked. I mean, I was able to open my three eggs. However, I was not able to uh, be able to get uh, Easter eggs off of that and transfer them. So I guess you have to go ahead and do things, mount up 250 Easter eggs to be, be able to buy a golden egg and then send that to somebody. Um, if there's a way to purchase that, um, I have not found that out yet. Let's go ahead and go into play um, because uh, like I said, we have the new season started. Um, this is the spring season and all my olive trees are ready. So we'll go ahead and harvest those six trees and see what I got. Uh, up to this point on everything I've harvested, I've been selling off every one star item and then keeping my two and three star items um, for future use and also to build up my account power uh, for the future, whenever I qualify for it, the hive drop on a daily basis. So uh, let's see here, uh, all one star. So I did not get any good luck, but we will go ahead and go in here and uh, do what I told you. Let's go ahead. Actually, I might have got a few. See, I still have, I have like 62 stars and only five uh, three star olives build up, but let's go ahead and sell off the 18. And I'm selling these for shares to build up for my end of season um, allotment, whatever I earn. Uh, I think I was in the top, uh, I was in the top 100. I think I was like 60 or something like that. So I got 72 shares off of those olives. Let's go ahead and go into uh, plant. You can see where I'm at right now. I have six uh, fertile lands and I did buy some cauliflower yesterday to prepare for this. It's a 10 day plant. So I'm going to get, use that up first. Um, let's go ahead and plant everything I've got. So I have just enough to put some stuff in every plot. Let's go ahead and plant selected. So then I will have planted some stuff and harvested some stuff. So I should have some Easter eggs. I don't know if I'm going to have enough uh, at this point in time to be able to buy a ticket for today or tomorrow's uh, raffle. But I would like to try to get in on uh, the raffle for every day. So let's take a look. So I have 56.8 Easter eggs. So, uh, wow, it's going to take me a while. 
I guess the other way I could do is I could buy some packs and hope for a decent amount of Easter eggs per pack. Um, but uh, in any event, what I would uh, I'll have to see how this goes and probably try to amount some more Easter eggs and figure out um, how I'm going to go about it. But obviously, I'm trying to go ahead and get one of those totems. Um, so as you can see, I earned 512 off the last season. Everything's going pretty well. Uh, either way, that's the information about the three-year anniversary event in D-Crops. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Have you been playing it lately? Have you been playing it for a long time? Uh, what do you think of the game? Um, I'm having a decent amount of fun with it, and everything's going pretty steady. Like I said earlier, uh, I'm not making a huge amount of money off of it, but <clears throat> it's fun, and I can see that as you go along and amount up assets in the game, things will start to pay off more. Either way, this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. If you like this kind of content, please leave a like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment what you're doing in-game. And I will see you on the flip side.